Hey, this is Retired Geek Woman Adventures with Rhiannon in Stardew Valley Retired Slow Play, part number 88. And we are on day 12 of fall in year number three. And let's check out, see what's going on. Oh, it's Abigail birthday tomorrow. Oh, me and Abigail, we got this nemesis thing going on. Watch previous episodes to see what happened there and why I'm terrified of Abigail. So... Uh, let's see what we got going on. We're going to say hi to the family. Oh, yeah. I just love Harvey to death. He's just got the sweetest things. The baby's still in the crib. Until the baby's, like, standing up or whatever, you can't do anything with them. So you just got to let them sleep. Jody, thank you for the plain, basic old fertilizer that I have absolutely no need for. Please, no one tell Jody what I just am doing. Boop. Right in the shipping bin. So, our, you can see that our beautiful... Um, next patch of pumpkins are growing and we, everything's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how the farm is coming along. You can see we've got, got a couple of frozen geodes that we got from the mine. So we'll see if we can get those over to Clint or whatever. I'm not sure uh, what he's got going on today. We're going to grab our jade and our rhythm ore. And the jade, just so you know, I've mentioned this a couple times, is we are going to be able to take that jade and trade with the desert trader uh, for staircases the staircases are to help us get the uh, journal quest that we have mr key wants us to get to level 25. there's a couple ways you can get to level 25. my way is to take staircases and jump down 25 floors i hate fighting in all games and i especially hate fighting in this game it's just ugh. It's not that it's any different or worse, but, it, you know, this is a chill game, and I hate it that we have to even uh, think about that. So, uh, I'm not after the Iridium Ore in the Skull Cavern. I'm just after to get to level 25 to, to do that quest. So, we'll get there. Um, so, I'm, that's what the Jade I'm saving it up for. Uh, so, uh, we're going to... Uh, we have a lot of things that are coming up in the next couple of episodes, so uh, some huge changes coming our way, so I want you to watch it. While I'm doing the morning chores, I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. I'm so excited. There's so many of you, and it's just wonderful. I love your comments. I love the subscriptions. I just, oh, thank you for your support. I cannot thank you enough. It means a lot to me. It means I'm doing something that people are finding valuable. I found that when I was looking at YouTube videos for games that I played, there was something missing. And that was what I'm doing right now, which is a retired slow play, meaning let's relax and enjoy the game. Let's don't power game it. Let's don't min max it. Let's don't fi figure out how to make a billion gold in one year, which I've seen there is people that do that. That's their thing. They're more than welcome to it. That's not my gig at all. I am a retired person, and while I, ha I have always played uh, games in a more relaxed way, you know, it's like, uh, I definitely am now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I'm going to relax and enjoy this game. I don't want to power game through it and be done in 100 hours or whatever. No way. I'm almost at 1,100 hours on Stardew Valley, and I've never gotten 100% completion. And very soon we're going to find out how we can find out to get 100% completion. And for my new subscribers, that's exactly the goal of this playthrough. That's where I'm headed. I hit about 87% on my previous long uh, play that I have. It has 11 years in it. Uh, of course, I, when I first started it, there was no way to even know how far along you were. And then version 1.5 came out and it, it was a game changer, literally. So now that we can, well, very soon we're gonna find out how to find out how far along we are and we're looking at our new trees here look at them there how pretty got ourselves some pine tower we don't really need it for anything but i wanted to start getting a supply of it and maple syrup up because we didn't really have very much and so uh, i wanted to make sure that we have some so you can see here we still do not have any giant pumpkin over there on the right um, in the spring, I will put another cauliflower batch there, but we're really shooting for the summer melons. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. That is a decorative area that we're working on. And thank you for the Junimos. We got ourselves one pumpkin that's been harvested from somewhere. There was a spot down there, I think. And, um, so I was kind of like, where did it, where? <laughs> so we want to make sure we refill that with, 
Um, we should be able to put more pumpkins. We're just going to keep an eye on that and um, not plant anything too late. Uh, Got to keep an eye on that. We're, we're almost halfway through the fall season. There's 28 days in the year, so we're getting close. And I wanted to um, just double check a couple things here. The this is chest here is where I've been keeping all of this the ancient fruits, and you can see that I this is all of them, and also the star fruits. And occasionally I'll pull some out and put them in the. Uh, preserved jar shed because I am going to make preserves out of the ancient fruit probably not the star fruit but the ancient fruit because we get so many of them it's like <laughs> what do you do with them all because it takes 54 days to turn them into a iridium quality wine so uh, so much to do but that's okay we're gonna get there and we are in no rush so there are many ways to play stardew valley everybody has their own way this is my way uh, this is how i enjoy the game you know kind of it's methodical in my head i'm not necessarily sharing it with you guys saying you know this step one two three but in my head i do have a path of what i'm doing so i had a number of things that were important to me in the very beginning and we hit those benchmarks and now I've got other benchmarks in my head that we're going to be getting to and I'll share them with you as we go along. Somewhere in this video you are going to hear a secret word of the day. I want you to take that secret word of the day and use it in a sentence in the comments. Now do not say this is the secret word of the day. That's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is creativity. I want you to use the secret word of the day in a sentence. It will be sometime in this video, so keep your ears out. It will not be on the screen. I'm going to speak it, so you got to listen for it. So play along with me. Don't hurt my feelings. I want you to play along with me. So secret word of the day coming up soon. Keep your ears out. So I knew I had one pumpkin that had gotten harvested, so that meant I had one space available somewhere. So I gotta go find it. In the meantime, I wanted to get these chests. These are the next things I'm gonna be putting in the preserve jars or the kegs, and I wanted to keep ahead of as much as possible. So I've got one, two, three things now that are ready. And um, you can see that the reason why I have two stashed stacks of the cranberries is because I have a regular and then a regular quality and a silver quality. And I was like, okay, what, what do I, I should have left it in there and that's okay. That's how it separates it. And I want to separate stacks of 21 because that's how many kegs or preserve jars that I have. So uh, you can see that we did have um, plenty of the ancient fruits and I'm going to be really focusing on that because it's starting to kick in. We're getting just tons of it. Um, and it's like, where is it? I can't believe it's so embarrassing when I see it on the, when my replay of my videos, but I don't see it with my eyeballs. It's like, oh my gosh, it's right there. I've seen it four times. Go put the seed down. <laughs> oh my heaven's sakes. Uh, yes, the joys of getting older. And I do mean that in a very literal sense. So I should have put those cranberries in there, but that's okay. I'm gonna put them back in. Look at how many we got. Look at that. Oh my gosh, three seasons and we've got just hundreds of cranberries. That's because, if you can see, right around the edges of the perimeter of our planting area is all cranberries. And they have multiple harvests per season. So it's a good money maker too. So while the ancient fruit is a good money maker, it's boring to me to have one type of crop. So that is just something that I'm going to um, just keep talking about and harping about. It's it's very boring to me. I, I saw somebody on the um, the forums. By the way, there's links to the amazing people, uh, the forums that you should check out. Create an account, start talking. I heard someone was saying that they uh, planted ancient fruit only, and they got bored. And you know, it's, it's like the answer. Oh, Clint, where are you? Oh my gosh. So the answer to that problem is don't plant all ancient fruit. While you, it is possibly the fastest way to get very rich very quick, it's boring. So I do have a, a uh, greenhouse that's going to be producing ancient fruit, but in the main part of my fields, I'm planting other things because that's what's fun to me. 
And I wanted to double check up there. I don't know if I've ever really paid attention to the area right there. So I thought, maybe there's something up there. Let's go look up. Make it do a quick look. By the way, I grabbed my sword and I grabbed some uh, non-starred uh, uh, goat cheese, which absolutely fills your health, just in case, uh, because we need to go to the mines. We need stone. We need stone badly. We also need iron ore. So iron ore is more plentiful uh, in the the uh, starting at level 70. So we're going to pop down here. This whenever you get this room where it looks like cobblestones on the wall and there's fog uh i hate this room there's going to be a skeleton see well i didn't hear him coming and he hit me and hit me from my health i'm going to get out of this area as quickly as pot yeah it's like uh it's like i really don't even want to be here so i'm going to go ahead and go down a level just to get off this level there we are now we're, we're getting to the areas where we can see the iron ore we, I knew that our supply was getting low, and I do not want to end up with a situation where I'm desperate for iron ore. I want to spend my time uh, when I have time, like now. It's like, okay, I need to go spend some time down in the mine and go get some iron ore. Now, because the uh, creatures here are relatively easy compared to when we first started coming down here, I mean, do you remember the bats, how hard they were? Look, that one hit, one hit wonder with our beautiful galaxy sword. So it's, they're not too hard. And you'll see that my health goes down very, very little in these areas. Now that's, that the exception would be that level where we saw that skeleton face thing that hit, gave me a pretty good hit. But even that, I mean, look at my health. It's pretty, it's right up there. So I'm okay with uh, uh, coming in here to get these the look at this oh one two three yeah there we go i love my rhythm iridium pickaxe and i heard the bat what, what you can't hear because i turned the sound way low uh for copyright stuff is that i could hear the bat coming and it's like okay i got probably one more hit until i got to turn around and find out where the bat's coming from and uh and take care of it because i don't want it to hit me so energy doing pretty good but if i get low i do have my goat cheese with me i like goat cheese um, as a backup for when I'm in the mines because it completely fills my health unless it's like you know down to nothing of course right now uh, we haven't got all the we haven't found all the star drops I think they're called that's what gives our in more energy eventually we're gonna get more we got lots of excitement coming we got all kinds of new stuff coming in upcoming videos so you need to hang in there because pretty soon we're going to get a new star a new star drop it's going to increase our energy level we got things going on on the farm you're not going to believe it so i'm so excited so hang in there with me i got all kinds of stuff to show you so um let's see this level's looking pretty good i think we're going to head and go down oh there we are okay now we're getting into these skeleton guys what they do is they throw bones at you <laughs> But if you can get them fast enough, then it's not too bad. So that's okay. We're going to keep working on them. Oh, I got an Omni Geode. Awesome. So we do find Clint. If he ever shows up at work, we can go see Clint. Now, I'm like, okay, we've got skeletons. We've got bats. We've got all kinds of things. I do have what's called a vi vampire ring on. And, oh, a diamond. Nice. Uh, the vampire ring, what it does is it you get some of your health back from the creatures that you're killing. So you can see that my health is just about right where it was when I walked into the mine, so that's not bad. I'm glad I got that diamond. Uh, we are currently not uh, propagating diamonds in our crystallariums. We're propagating jade to get those staircases. And we're just gonna keep right on going here and keep uh, going, going, going. For my new subscribers, I do want to mention also that I got a little bit of short-term memory loss. And so what that means is it's normal senior short-term memory loss, although I believe I've got the entire family's quota worth because I, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's like I, I tell people things and I turn around, did I tell someone that already? Um, and don't remember. So I may tell you things multiple times in a single video. Sometimes I mean to, other times I have absolutely no idea that I already told you that. So apologies if I repeat myself, I try to minimize that as much as possible. I am working very hard at keeping the length of my videos down because I know people are busy. I totally get that. 
and finding time to watch an hour-long video is can be problematic and I want you all to watch all the way to the end a it's I want you to watch all the way to the end and see what I did and see what I said and see what we at what adventures we had and B it helps YouTube like me better when people watch my videos all the way to the end by the way we're having an attack of the bats so we're gonna take care of those just hit 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 um, so I am working towards getting my video shorter. They, they used to be an hour and a half and I got them to an hour and now I'm cutting them down as much as possible, getting in between, uh, 30 and 45 minutes. So hopefully that is a good length for you. It, to me, it, it, any shorter than that and, and nothing happens and any longer than that, people don't have the time to watch. So that's why that I'm trying to get them to that length. I think it's a good length. Um, I asked, I did a, a, um, a poll on my community tab which I encourage you to go over there and check out my community tab and the poll was ch asking you guys what you found a good length to be speaking of the community tab there's all kinds of things there it's hard for me to tell everyone everything or tell you all something unless you watch the all the videos because I'm just talking and talking and talking well if you watch the first five minutes of the video and shut it off you're not going to hear something it might be an announcement so I look at this for some reason there is copper bouncing up and down over here don't know why very strange um, so when I want to tell everybody something I do it via the community tab so it might be something very unimportant it might be something like pictures of my kitty cats which i when we got our new kitties i had posted pictures of them there uh it might be an announcement it might be um if i'm going to ch add a game it might be changing my schedule or whatever the community tab is where you need to go to see that kind of information there is also an about tab by the way we're getting a ton of frozen geodes like what oh my gosh um the about tab is going to be my actual schedule and it, it does say a little bit about me but it also has my upload schedule at the time of this video i'm currently uploading stardew valley on mondays and fridays at 11 a.m american eastern time on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. American Eastern Time, I'm uploading an episode of Kenseed. Kenseed is a game that has been compared to Stardew Valley and that type of game. And it is, it's different. Um, it is, uh, there is farming. It is a, they calling a farming simulator, but it's more a, 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 a life simulator where you are, you do, you do get a farm gifted to you basically just like you do in stardew valley but it's it's different in how you play you could be a shop owner and raise a family and then you'll eventually pass on so it's getting late oh i hate that message Ugh. uh so anyway it's very different go check it out um i uh I, one of these days I'm going to do a review of it, but I want to play it a little longer first so that I have more information I can share in a review. But uh, it's a very interesting game, and I think if you ought to check that out. <laughs> and you can check it out on, we can check new episodes out on Wednesdays. So, and I have goals for that game as well. So that's my current upload schedule, three videos a week, and that's all I can handle. Because I tell you what, I always had heard over and over again that being retired people were really busy when they're retired and you know i had plans and things that uh, that i wanted to do when i was retired when i became retired uh, but oh, i should have grabbed the other sort oh what a dodo head uh so i did have a list of things that i wanted to do but i had no idea it, it just i don't know it just has amazed me how busy i am and during the night, Clara gave birth to a baby cow. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. It's a cow, but we'll take a cow. <laughs> so I've been wanting goats, but you know, I'm so glad we finally had a spontaneous pregnancy that you guys could see. So awesome. So Clara gave birth. So Clara has a baby now. So that's so cool. And I think all the cows are girls. So <laughs> we'll see. Day 13 of fall and year number three. So I'm going to ask you the secret word for today is going to be Belle. That's the name of our new baby cow that just got born. So in the comments below, use a sentence with using the word Belle. 
Oh, look at all of our plants getting watered. I love it when I can make it outside in time to see that. As soon as I could make any kind of sprinklers, I made them. And if you watched early episodes, I mean, you have to hand water. But as soon as I can make those first sprinklers, which you can see I've got a whole bunch of them in my chest, I probably ought to throw them away. Um, as soon as I could, I did. It's The only thing I would do is water the cat bowl. Um, I, it, I just hate watering. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, I love it. We get our iridium sprinklers. And once that happened, then we can we built out this whole planting area. And this will remain our planting area for the duration of our playthrough. I see no need to change it. Oh, look at the cute little baby cow. Isn't she cute? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Run around and say good morning. How I'm doing that quickly is right. hold your right mouse button down and moving it around close to me. Well, hello there, little Belle. Little Belle's a baby. Oh my gosh. And it says that her mother is Clara. So that's cute. I don't remember having baby, more baby cows like that. Uh, I'm always after the goats. I want goat cheese because it absolutely, you get so much more money for goat cheese than you do regular cheese uh, when you age it. So um, eventually, once our barn is, start, is filled, I'll probably sell one of my cows and then uh, just, you know, hope for more goats. You can only have 12 animals in these deluxe uh, buildings, which is what I have. So we're going to just hope that we get some more goats soon. But for now, we're going to celebrate little baby Bell. How cute is that? So we're going to be picking up our, all of our stuff here in our coop and putting our eggs and then kind of picking out what we want to, uh, which one we want to use. Obviously, the regular eggs and then the duck eggs and the dinosaur eggs. I kind of alternate them out so I don't get short on any one stack. And we'll just keep on going and go to our greenhouse next. Always in the morning. Next thing up, nothing there. So next thing up, we're going to go into our basement or cellar, I'm sorry, and put our cheeses away. Eventually, those wonderful gold star uh, barrels are going to turn and turn to iridium quality. I'm so excited. Uh, so what I'm doing on the middle row there is I'm waiting for those to turn to everything to turn iridium. And when it does, I'll clean it out and put cheese in the middle. So we have wine on the top, wine on the bottom, cheese in the middle. At some point, we're going to expand the uh, casks down there and just fill that up with them. So we'll get there. We just need enough stuff to be able to um, fill it. I want to give my usual disclaimer that I am not a professional sound engineer. That's my son's job. He actually is a game designer uh, at a large gaming studio, and he's a lead sound engineer there. And his sounds would be perfect. He wouldn't have any background noise at all. Well, you know what? That's not going to happen. I try to minimize it as much as possible, but occasionally you're going to hear outside noise, especially when... Uh, it is spring and summer and even fall. I live on a lake. I have a sliding glass door out onto my deck and I love the fresh air. So I'm going to have my door open a lot. So occasionally you're going to hear some cool stuff like a storm moving through. That's kind of cool. So, so occasionally you'll hear storms in my videos and they're not actually in the game. So, uh, and then there's other noises on a, on weekend sunny summer days. You're going to hear boats on the lake. And so I, if it's really super loud, I'll shut my doors. Uh, but for the most part, I like the sounds and the fresh air. So you're going to hear some things. And occasionally you're going to hear my cats. They're almost always asleep when I start these uh, recordings and things. And then inevitably they wake up and they start fighting. <laughs> they play fighting. They run through the house like maniacs and uh, they make noise so I try to minimize it but if you do hear any I do apologize in advance it is what it is so what I'm doing now is I want to make sure that I'm keeping my kilns cranking because you never know when you're gonna need stuff and you're gonna need a bar of copper or whatever and I never want to have to be running short on that and then we're gonna go see if Clint is working today um, also, the other thing I'm going to start working on in earnest is making at least eight heart friends with everybody in the game. That's my first goal. And you can see Harvey Jr. is coming along, and that's just from saying hello to Harvey every single morning. And we're going to try to take people gifts that they love, if at all possible. So right now I'm checking my next three or four people, uh, Sebastian, Caroline, Evelyn, and I'm going to try to get the items that they love 
if I can, if I have any loved items that I know of. If I don't know what they love, then I can go to the wiki. The, there's a link to the wiki down in the description. I've mentioned this before. Um, you can go to the wiki and if you don't know what people love, if nobody's told you what they love, or if you haven't given them by mistake a loved item, you can go check that wiki to see what it is that they love. And so to get those relationships up, then I want to um, go and, and at least a couple times a week, you can do it twice a week, give them a gift. Right now I'm looking, I'm going to make some, I can't remember what that recipe is called, Samanshi. I'm saying that completely wrong. That's something that Sebastian loves. So all I need is a piece of fish and then I walk over to my stove, click on my stove and there we go. Done. So I can take that to uh, Sebastian. And then um, I know that Evelyn loves chocolate cake. We had been gifted like five chocolate cakes, I think it was. And um, so it's like, okay, what what can I give her? <laughs> so I, I think she likes beets and I thought we had some beets, extra ones. Um, I think in the future we're gonna have to propagate beets and try to get more of them just to have them. But um, it's like, okay, I need this, this, and this. And I keep checking and looking, you know, what, these wheat peas seem to be pretty popular with a couple of people. And so I'm just kind of gathering up what I need before I go to town. So we'll go see Clint and then we'll go visit these extra people um, and get these relationships up. And I'm shooting for eight. That's not an arbitrary number. Anybody that is a uh, potential spouse is going to be, you can only eight have eight hearts with them. So that's why I'm shooting for eight with everybody first. Then I'll go back to my list and anybody that's that can have 10 hearts will have 10 hearts with them and that will make a, a completed goal of being best friends with everybody in the town your relationships do not go down with anyone except your spouse and your farm animals and that includes your cat rest of them once you reach that high friendship level then you n it never goes down so you don't have to continually be looking and giving gifts you can if you want but it's just basically being a friend. <laughs> I'm going to process these geos real quick. Oh, here's these frozen ones. And we'll see if we can't get a couple things for um, the museum. It's been a while since we've had anything that we could give the museum. And so far we've already got these items. Come on, frozen tears. We already got those. It's like, come on. So hopefully we'll get something. You never know. And uh, that one I can't tell. I'm not sure about that one. And we had one Oh, we do have one. Awesome. We have something that we can take in. And we got one copper ore with an Omni Geode. Now that doesn't really seem fair. I mean, that's not such an easy item to get. And we got a single piece of copper ore. That is so not cool. So, okay. We're going to donate to the museum now. And here we go. We haven't done this in a long time. And we don't get any gifts and that's okay. We'll eventually get um, a rewards which you'll see in future episodes. We've got some coming up, so stay tuned. And that's a teaser for you to stay tuned. So we're going to go try to find everyone um, that we are trying to make friends with. And this house right here is Evelyn and George's house. And I see George only. Where the heck is Evelyn? <laughs> so there's a couple ways that you can figure that out. I go kind of where I know that Evelyn kind of hangs out. She's usually at her house, I think. And if she's not there, sometimes she's over here working on the gardens and places down below. I don't see her anywhere down there. So I said, okay, uh, let's check the help wanted board. Uh, ghosts, now I'm not gonna go work on killing ghosts. Uh, let's see, oh, Abigail, run, run, go past, okay. And here's Pierre, hi Pierre, how you doing? And I think he likes daffodils, I'm pretty sure. But I didn't bring any daffodils, so we're going to take a chance on Sweet Pea. I'm pretty sure he liked it. Oh, we got an achievement of some kind. Uh, I'm very po I'm popular, apparently. That's an achievement. So we'll have to go look and check those out. And let's see. I'm still looking for Caroline. I'm really working on a relationship with her. And um, it's like, where the heck is she? <laughs> and I don't know where she's at. She's often over here to the side. She teaches a class sometimes uh, on that right side. So I wasn't sure where she was at. And I, I need, there's a number of people I need to go find. Now the community center is a place where Evelyn hangs out sometimes. Oops, I saw this and thought, you know what? Let's grab this blackberry. I need to do some more foraging. So I got my blackberry 
And let's see, here it is. Up here is the community center that we completed a while back. So we could be, there's Hevelyn sitting off to the left. Did you see her? Oh, and Caroline's right there. Caroline, there you are. Uh, I'm not going to make a comment about Abigail. Nope, nope, nope. Um, nope, no opinion. <laughs> she likes sweet peas. So we're going to give her that. Yeah, I'm sure. There you go. And Evelyn likes sweet peas too. So in the springtime, if we are not best friends with all these people, we need to really work on uh, getting some because sweet peas and daffodils seem to be pretty popular as far as a liked gift. Not necessarily a love gift, but a liked one. Oh, it's wonderful. How kind of you. Well, you're welcome, man, Evelyn. You're one of the sweetest people in the whole Pelican town. So she is so sweet. She always says the nicest things. She's one of the most welcoming people. Um, so now we're going to go try to find Sebastian. He's usually either in his room or standing over by the lake. There's a couple other places he can be found. So maybe we'll get lucky and find him in his room. Walked right past a worm thingy. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Uh, hi there. Hi there yourself. Let's see. Go down to Sebastian's room and he's not there. Okay. How about the rest of the house? He's not up there. He's not in the kitchen. It's like, oh my gosh, come on. Where is he? He's oftentimes standing over to the right where the, the lake is. So as I mentioned before, you can just kind of hit and miss and try to find people. Or you can check the wiki. And I don't see him anywhere up here. It's like, really? Where are you, Sebastian? Where are you hiding? I also wanted to pop in to the Adventurers Guild because I have a sword to sell. They are open at uh, after 2 p.m. I think they're open until 10 p.m. And let's go in there and sell this extra sword that we got recently. So here you are. And 250. That's 250 gold for a sword. Cool. And these are the, um, the list of things. Like once you hit a certain amount, like if I got two more skeletons, I would talk to the little old man sitting in a rocking chair over there and he would give us rewards so we have lots and lots of things that we'll get to eventually some of you don't even we haven't even killed one so we don't know he goes come back when you got something to show me kid <laughs> gil's kind of funny that other guy's name is marla and he shows up at some of the events in town and stuff and so anyways i still thought maybe sebastian would be around here somewhere uh i really it's 4 40 p.m i really want to give him this gift today because i'm working on the relationships and I didn't have anything else that I that was super pressing, but I'm, I think I'm working on about four people at this time. And when, like I said, once I get them up to eight, I'll move on to my next group of people and uh, and try to get them some gifts that they like. Hello there. What are you doing, Robin? Robin the Carpenter. Oh, good. I did finally see that. Uh, it's called an artifact spot. I call it wormy thingies. And I like to hit them. And an ancient doll. We've already, we've got a ton of those. <laughs> That's an artifact, and our first one went to the museum. The rest of them are going in a chest. It's useless to sell them because they're one gold. Uh, I'll just stick them in the chest. I have no idea if we'll hit 999 of each one, which is the maximum amount for a stack. So I don't know. I don't know why I get so many of the same ones and not the ones I need. It's random. I know it's random. In my uh, first long playthrough, there was an item that was my last one for the museum that I needed. And I got that item very early on in this playthrough. So I'm pretty confident that that is a very random thing. So it's okay. So we're going to continue to look for that elusive Sebastian. Where the heck is he? Aha! We found him. He's sitting around talking to Sam and he's smoking. Oh my gosh. That is such a weird thing that I didn't notice this for years about Sebastian and then I saw it one day it's like really okay and he liked his gift so all right where are we at here uh, look at all these ones that are already full two 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 all right awesomeness and Sebastian is now one heart away from being eight so we got Sebastian Caroline Evan and Evelyn and Pierre are the next four we're working on Harvey Jr. will just come along as we continue to um, speak to him every single morning which we will do every single morning that's one reason why i say good morning to the family hello everybody <laughs> all three of you in the present moment four if you count rose who's up in the crib can't really say talk to rose yet but that's okay 
pretty soon we'll be able to. I thought I would take a quick look um, and and knock down some of the weeds down below. You can get, um, obviously we want the fiber, but also you can get some of those uh, mixed seeds, which we use for crafting. And uh, there we go, we got one. So hitting down these weeds gets us fiber in the mixed seeds. So I thought it was worth a few minutes. It's only 7.30 PM. And I normally like to get in bed around 10 unless I'm doing something else. And also this stone, obviously we need stone, so we're gonna grab that too. So occasionally I'll stop and do something like this and um, just to get some resources. Resources are so important in this game. And in the beginning, it's like we practically had to sell everything that we possibly could for money. And now we have plenty of money. We're coming up on 400,000 here pretty soon. So it's okay for us to uh, hoard the resources. And I've said many times, and it's so true, that this game makes hoarders of us all. So we are going to just keep working on the resources. And you can see fiber coming along. There's another mixed seed. I think that's three. I'm sorry, two. But we'll find more. Uh, I have trouble. I'm sitting away from my monitor and I have to lean forward. So I try to not say anything when I do that because I don't want to yell into my microphone. But it's sometimes hard for me to see, especially when it's at night like this. And there's another mixed seed. That's fantastic. Uh, at night like this, it's kind of hard for me to see the screen. And no, I'm not going to turn it up just to play this game at night. Oh, another mixed seed. Awesome. I consider that very successful. We need that. And pick up that common mushroom. So we're just kind of scavenging around. It's only 920. We're doing really, really good. And just kind of running around. There's a, a piece. I saw a piece of stone. and thought, man, we need stone. So we're going to grab that. And keep it going. It will get more, you never know. So pop, 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 just takes a few minutes and here we go. Kind of clearing this area a little bit. And each season it fills up again anyway. So uh, you can even chop, if you need the wood for whatever reason, I always seem to have plenty, but oh, there's another mixed seed. Awesome, we're up to five. Uh, if you chop all these trees down, they regrow themselves. So it's not a problem to chop all the trees down. I saw someone on the forums one time said they had a real hard time getting wood. And I think, really? Because I, I'm never short on wood, you know. Plus, I mean, right now, especially because we did, we haven't even cleared our whole entire property yet. Uh, but we always have places to go. We can go to the quarry. We can go south of where we are. There's just trees all over the place. It just takes time. What is that really weird black bird? It flies over, and I'm not sure what the scoop is on that. It doesn't seem to do anything. It just flies over your property. I've seen it also outside the properties. I don't know what it is it's so weird so anyway kind of putting the resources away that I had gathered and uh, there's our jade so awesome got another jade there and this is the mineral chest and so any minerals extra go in here and I've been you know I'm trying to keep at least five of each one some more than others um, thought, okay let's put this doll this is the artifact chest those are all the extra artifacts that we have so um, I also saw that our preserved jars were ready, so I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and, um, go ahead and, um, what am I doing? Let's go ahead and pick something. I also, these blackberries had done, been, been down the bottom of my pack, so I thought, okay, let's just use those, and then we'll put the rest of them away. We had melons in there before, and now we're just going with blackberries, which is a forageable item, cost us absolutely nothing. Uh, the melons we had to pay for seeds, so that's okay, but these blackberries cost absolutely nothing. And then the one outside, some people don't have watched before. I put one outside because when it's ready, that means all the ones inside are also ready. So put those away good. We have eight mixed seeds now, so we're getting a pretty good stock up of those. Eventually we'll get a whole bunch of them, and then we'll get to make some fiber seeds. How exciting is that? So checking out what we have left to do here. It is 11.50. It's getting a little bit late, but I want to put my jellies into the shipping bin before we end our day. So that's going to be the end of our episode and the end of the day, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put down that wor secret word of the day. 
please give my videos a like if you like what I'm doing. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. All of those things make YouTube like me better and they present all my stuff to more people and then I get more people. So it makes it's very affirming. Thank you for watching. The most important thing is I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.